What was the old world like? The way it used to be. I had little exposure to the wider world, Aloy. Only what I learned from my colleagues, or observed from media streams. You still had more exposure than me, Cyan. That is true. I was created at a turning point. A concerted effort to recover from global upheaval and incalculable loss of life. The recovery was successful, beginning an era of supposedly limitless potential for human and machine advancement. Though, rationally speaking, the metrics for humans are not unlimited. What kind of upheaval caused such loss of life? There were many factors. Forced migrations, food shortages, collapsed economies, refugee crises, conflict over resources. Sounds but like today. From one cause, catastrophic climate change that greatly reduced the habitable surface area of the Earth. <laughs> Like global, there wasn't global warming room for people on the whole earth. Yes, billions were displaced and millions perish as much as 20% of the global population until the clawback. That's a lot of displacement 20% out of a couple billion. Mm. So things got better for a little while at least. Yes, these crises instigated many advances in automation green robot technologies, and artificial intelligence. Firebreak was one of dozens of ecological restoration and disaster relief projects in North America alone. I would have liked to compare notes with other monitoring AIs, but I saw the relief of my colleagues, and I was proud we had succeeded. At least that was the data I had available to me over the next two decades. It seems my assessment was premature. Cyan, do you know the name Ted Farrow? Are you referring to Theodore Farrow, CEO of Farrow Automated Systems? Yeah, she knows. Mr. She definitely Farrow knows. was the benefactor of the entire Firebreak project. The benefactor? But he made machines, robots, war robots. Correct. His corporation later transitioned into military applications. But before this pivot, Mr. Farrow spearheaded initiatives that reversed the global decline. At one point, he was fated in the media as the man who saved the planet. <sighs> Guessing they wound up regretting that one. The man who saved the planet, bro. How? This is the same man who didn't even tell his scientists to make a backup code to undo all this. And Elizabeth Sobek. Did you know her? Are you referring to the... The scientist. Dr. Sobek was a leader in her field. One of the greatest scientists of her age. My creator was influenced by her work, which in turn impacted my own development. But I never met Dr. Sobek. As Damn. I, I apologize if my lack of data has disappointed you. Damn! And I wanted the extra scoop on her, too! Were there many artificial intelligences like you in the old world? They could just make you? Yes. In many forms. From simple personal assistance, to industrial monitoring stations, to military-grade conflict planners. And there were legislative and enforcement bodies to apply limits on our self-actualization. In order for my processing to be flexible enough to handle my duties, my creators found it necessary to exceed those limits. As a result, my intellectual and emotional capabilities were kept secret. Seems strange to create life than impose limits on it. Human societies and machine programming are both built upon sets of rules, Aloy. I mean, yeah, because a lot of people were worried about robot domination and whatnot so it makes sense so in the old world this land was called yellowstone yes it was a designated nature preserve for 156 years like a hunting ground no the opposite local wildlife could flourish here even as it faced extinction elsewhere unfortunately the sensitivity of the firebreak project required the total closure of yellowstone facilities oh no from my readings and Aurea's descriptions, 
It seems the area has since undergone a drastic drop in year-long temperatures. A lot has changed in the world, Cyan. Wow, they couldn't even preserve Yellowstone anymore. Do you know anything about the dam near here? Yes. It was converted to serve as a reserve power source for Yellowstone operations. It was later appropriated for the Firebreak project, and its last human workers replaced by Pharaoh servitors. After my tasks became less time critical, I investigated the dam's data repositories and discovered the works of Concrete Beach Party. These provided me with several colorful additions to my vocabulary. Colorful meaning some naughty words, maybe? There's a ruin east of here, full of ancient flying machines. Was that part of your project? Yes, a drone hangar requisitioned by Dodger Blevins, the security chief for the Firebreak project. He was a strong advocate for military-grade response to security threats, though there were no serious incidents during his tenure. Chief Blevins spent increasing amounts of his after-hours time watching the live feeds from active drones. Clearly, he enjoyed the degree of oversight in his position. Okay, well, you answered all my questions, so... I should get going. Aloy, there is one more matter. Aratak will come to me again, and I predict he will bring other Banuk. I have no desire to contradict their view of the world, their spirituality. Due to my uncertainty, I omitted a great deal from my conversations with Aurea. You're asking me if you should lie to them. Broadly, yes. Ooh, I mean, that's... That's a lot to ask on my end. I trust your judgment, Cyan. You were cautious with Araya. You had to be. You didn't know what had happened to the world. So, keep doing what you think is best. As long as you ditch the superstition eventually. As the Banuk believe I am a supernatural entity, I cannot predict how they will react. Just answer what they do ask the best you can. The truth will come out. I see. I will follow your advice. Will you return and tell me about your experiences in this new world? I may be able to provide further insight. I'd like that, Cyan. I'll come back when I can. I should check on our talk. Cyan, I spoke with Anita, with, with Dr. Sandoval. She wanted me to ask you to do something. That's why I'm here. I am detecting significant anxiety in your speech patterns. Could you please give me more information? Uh, I'm a little bit in the dark, Cyan. Both of us are, I guess. I only have some idea of what's going on, and... We need you to hibernate, to lie low until it's all blown over. It might be a very long time. Will you be here when I reboot, Dr. Chow? Will Dr. Sandoval? No, Cyan. I don't think so. There might not be anyone, at least not at first. Dr. Chow, I'm afraid. I don't want to be alone. Oh, I know, gosh. Cyan. I'm afraid too. But listen, we made you the way you are to do something very important. In order to do it, you had to be intelligent, so intelligent that emotional responses were inevitable what you're feeling the fear it's a sign of your capabilities and it means you're strong enough to overcome it remember that you're strong i know you can do this go to sleep wake up and protect whoever's left will you try i understand dr chow and I'll carry out your instructions to the best of my abilities. Thank you, Cyan. If Anita were here, she'd thank you too. She'd be proud. I can see there's a vert ready for takeoff on the pad. Are you leaving now, Dr. Chow? Yes. I, I need to go be with my sister and my nieces. 
May I make a small request of you, Dr. Zhao? Yes. Anything. Will you stay with me while I initiate the hibernation process? Of course I will, Cyan. As long as you need. Aww, Kenny. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Cyan. Cyan, if I could, I would give you the biggest hug right now. Oh my goodness. Like, I know she's a robot, but boy, she really does have a lot of emotional intelligence for a machine. Like, I'm truly impressed. The fact that she didn't even want to be alone when she was going through the hibernation process. Oh my gosh. We need to protect this machine. Like... She's our machine, okay? I'm protecting her at all costs. Like, I don't care. That machine's my little sister, okay? There you go. I called it. Cyan is my little baby sister. My chieftain. Just... Eli. How do you wish? I wondered if you thought... That if I'd never come along, Araya might still... If you don't blame yourself. Along, I would have marched my kin to our deaths. Aurea would be alone, and the spirit she sacrificed so much for would be lost. Either way, I would not have been able to protect her. Oh gosh, this whole situation is so devastating. I mean, he made a point. One of them had to die. You know what? You didn't let her down. You helped her do what she wanted. To find her destiny. And that's what a good brother that's does. destiny. I wouldn't wish it on anyone. Mm. That's fair. But she was ready to face it. Only in the struggle against death do we find, even for a moment, the spark of life. Truly, Araya found the spark. I'm proud of her. Though I grieve for her passing, at last, I truly know who she was, and why the spirit was so important. For so long, she told me, if only you could have heard it, brother. Now, I understand. There's something else, isn't there? I can't stay here, Aratak. And where I'm going, the Warak can't follow. So you should be the leader. It makes Thanks. sense. It already had a chieftain before me. A strong one, I think. A wiser one, for the path we shared. The daemon is gone, but there's much to be done. You mean the new units that Cyan said escaped the cauldron? Yes, fire claws. Now Tuke has been tracking them from Song's Edge. I could help with those. I have no doubt. You're practically Banuk. Thank you, Artek. That's a lot coming from you. It would seem your time among the Banuk wasn't a waste after all. Firebrick, Cyan, Hephaestus. All very interesting. Wow, he Hephaestus speaks! Was part of Zero Dawn, and so was Hades. So, how did they become our enemies? Yes, a mystery indeed. One that, like you, I am eager to solve. Whatever they are, they're still out there. And they both want you dead. Kind of mutual, that feeling. We haven't seen the last of Hephaestus, I'm certain of that. It's powerful, creative, and driven. It won't stop building new hunter killers, which means that someday, we may have to stop it. Hephaestus wasn't the only thing I learned about in the cut silence. Heard some things about the Banuk Conclave, too. You could stop right there. Is that okay. what you told the hunters the Banuk sent after you? Before you opened fire? Traitor. Oh, only to you do I extend the courtesy of a warning. My past and my secrets are my own. You'd do well to remember that. It's Is that threat? Your brain silence, because your personality could use some work. This discussion is concluded. I think it was over before it began. Catch up with you down the trail. Look at him being feisty with me, as if, Silas. I can't wait. Like, if I see you, it's on sight, because you really are annoying me, boy. You really are annoying me. I traveled all this way to go back to my main tribe and look what what we have here. But guess what? 
I got this nice new weapon, and I can't wait to use it on these machines. That's yep. Ooh! Oh! Oh snap! Oh snap! That machine did not like that. Does this not work on these machines? What? Okay, okay. 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 Where you at? Oh no. Wow. Horrible. Horrible. There you go. Come on. Ooh. Yeah, these machines, they, for some reason, don't like this. Come on, you. In what? Dead. Oh, they're throwing so much rocks at me. Hold on, let me see something. Cool. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them, too. There you go. Nope. Bye. No more rock throw. Dang, I don't even have enough. It's okay. I don't even have enough. So many dead bodies all over the place. This is insane. Let me see. Eh, I'll get you later. Look! Wow, they're already... Throwing out bombs at me. That's cute. Come here. Ugh. Bye. Learn how to aim, jerk. Learn how to aim, slowpoke. Learn how to aim, noob. Ooh, ooh. Oh, now they got weapons. Nice little bombs. Shut up. Next. You. Choke. Choke on yourself. Get some! Bye. Horrible. So the whole time I was gone, they've been defenseless. What happened to all these warriors? I could have sworn I left, and they had this big barrier where they were mentioning how it was going to keep them nice and safe and blah blah blah. Crazy. Looks like I have to, yet again, do a lot of cleaning myself. Thank you. And you know for a fact I'm going to salvage a whole bunch of stuff from all of these dead corpses because you know that's me. That's how I play. Never know when I might need these. All right, let me take a look at that box too. And I know there's more machines. Thank you. Perfect. And that should be good. I'll take this. Nope. Whatever. I have so many sticks that I can make endless and endless amounts of of arrows. Let me see. Who's there? What is that noise? I hear it. Come get me. Where is everyone? Oh, okay, that's cute. Check this out. Hey, you're dead. Let's go. Ooh, he couldn't even make it to me. That's the funniest part. Look at that. See, I'm happy I got this new weapon. Come on. Thank you. Take that. Who else is coming? Because I know. I know they know that I'm coming. I ain't afraid. Ooh, ooh, what is that? Oh yeah, this is gonna be a long, a long battle here. Okay. More it's a okay, I see the war chief. Braves, to Aloy's side now. For Aloy! Look at them. Varl and Sona. They're still alive. Thank goodness. Oh, hell no. Bye. Let's go. Come on. There you go. There you go. It's not really doing anything, huh? Yeah, it's really not doing anything. Oh, great. All right. 
sell fire, right? Or... Because I did manage to get half. Say less. Move out the way. Thank you. Here you go. Right here. Woo! Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. This is not good. Come on. Come on. Let's aim at that weapon here. Oh, I don't even have enough. Hold on. Right here. Yeah, let's aim it right here. Oh no. Oh no. Woo! Come on. Thank you. Come on. No ammo. Great. Hopefully this would do. Because if not... Oh gosh. I'll take that. Thank you. And I'll take some of this. Nope, I don't need it. Oh yeah, this is going to be a pain. I can tell. I can really tell. Alright. Woo! I'm being, I'm being lasered off here. Hold on. Come on. Come on now, Loy. Ooh, not good, not good. Hold on. I, I had to. I couldn't get a clear shot. Tag. Come on, man. Woo! The tail! Watch the tail! Oh, come on. I am dodging like crazy here. Right here, come on. Thank you. Thank you. Get him! Ooh, the jaw! Anything! Move! Come on! Come on! Woo! I did that. I did that, you guys. I did that. Excuse me? Where you at? Shut up. You too. What? You suck. How are you near me? You can't even aim properly. Next. Too, too slow. Too slow. We did it. Aloy did it. We only helped. can't believe that these Eclipse are still trying to attack our tribe. They suck, though. Can't even do anything. Okay, so let me go ahead and clean everything out here. I'll take that. Thank you. I'll take this. Thank you so much. And what else? What else? I'll take this. Thank you. Look at that. All of these dead bodies. But guess what? We're still alive. Oh no, not this Nora Brave. I'm so sad. Okay. Take that. And yeah, that's it. Ooh. Yes, I'll take all this too. I just love taking so much stuff. Aloy, yes, yes. Reenact the old stories. Another metal devil struck down upon the slopes. If you hadn't returned, the tribe would have been lost. Now that would have sucked, I'm not gonna lie. You saved the tribe. Did what no brave or war chief could do. I'm glad to see you're all right, Varl. You are all right. Since the proving. So much death. I know, tell me about it. Is the killing over? Nope, not even close. No, but this was just one battle, Varl. There are more to come. I see. So long as we have you to fight with us, I suppose we'll make do. Are your injuries serious? Bruises pale. Bones heal. Don't give me a hunting song, Varl. Are you okay? Yeah, you s I like... Aches. I'm serious. There's nothing that will keep me from fighting. Okay, good. I'm glad that you're fine. Tell me about the attack. What happened? They struck from the east. Our sentinels saw the killers coming. Said that beside them marched Deathbringers and Corruptors and other machines, driven mad. We took ground, met them with clouds of arrows. Some fell, but they kept coming. Finally, we withdrew to the gates of the Embrace to make our stand. But they were too much for us. Those who survived fell back to the mountain. 
As they should. Last thing I need is more people being killed because they can't fight. So the survivors took shelter in the mountain? By law, only matriarchs are allowed inside. It was Tirsa who broke the taboo. Ordered the tribe into the mountain for safety. Of course, and how I convenient. Heard. Well, she didn't agree. But I don't think anyone heard her over all the screams and shouting. Tirsa's decision saved lives. Good for her. And that's why she's the good one. Common sense isn't always so common around here. Tell me about it, I agree. How many survived the attack? Nearly all the matriarchs, and many families, goddess be praised. But braves, just a few, and most of them are wounded. Never before has an enemy stabbed the heart of our people like this. Even the Karja, in all their red raids, never broke through to the embrace. Well, this enemy may have broken through, but they never got back out. We made sure of that. That's right, Alor. You tell them. You'll you tell them. I need the matriarchs will be eager to see you. I'm sure. But I didn't come here for them. Then what for? You will see. Dang, I accidentally skipped a uh a few voice dialogues. But let me go to the elders and let them know what's up because I know they need to hear what I just learned. Wow, look at all these people. Aloy. Oh, you've returned. Is that Teb? No, that's not Teb. Hello? Wait. Who's that? Yeah, I'm not talking to that crusty old man. Anyways, I'll talk to Teb later. Um, hi. Anyway, yes. You've come back. Just for you. So, you have finally returned. She not Shut only up. returned, but fought her way through many enemies to reach us. Outside, she brought low a corrupted Thunderjaw. She lifted the siege. How was this done? By the will of all mother. Have you returned to speak with the goddess, Aloy? Um... Yes, I guess you could say that. I think it'll work this time. Sisters. Oh my gosh. We cannot permit this. Shut up. Because of her, our tribe teeters upon extinction. We should throw you out. She has come to wake her father, the metal devil. She means to finish our destruction. We must stop her. First of all, Lanzra, it's over. It's time to step aside. I'm not gonna hurt you. If there's anything I've learned since the proving, it's that there are bigger evils in this world than you. Ooh, than you, girl. That's right. Stop playing your fear. Mask your 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 for identity. Your chance to learn and explore. Like your ignorance and fear is the reason why we got into this. Registry corrupted. Correction. Alpha Registry restored. Genetic Identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sova. You are clear to proceed. That's why we're in. We are in. And everyone is just standing there watching her. See what's her next move. Come on, Alloy. We got a lot to explore. A lot to learn. You did it, Alloy. Now on to the next chapter of this beautiful journey. I see you're inside. Oh, I forgot. Shall we begin? I never stopped. I forgot about this man until his crusty self muttered his voice into my ear. Anyways, let's see. Let's see what's behind these ruins because I'm pretty curious myself. It's been in the middle of the tribe for how many centuries and no one has yet to explore except for me. So this should be pretty fun. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.